Welcome back to the Community Corner Podcast, where we explore the companies in the S500 through the lens of behavioral finance. I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Today, we're focusing on Thermo Fisher Scientific, a global leader in serving science with a broad range of products and services in life sciences, healthcare, and diagnostics. We'll be discussing how behavioral finance impacts their decision-making, diversity, and inclusion efforts adaptation to different markets, and how they compare to other companies in the industry. Let's dive in. Thermo Fisher Scientific has positioned itself as a key player in the life sciences and healthcare sectors, but from a behavioral finance perspective, how do biases like overconfidence and the endowment effect influence their decision making, especially in areas like our investment in mergers and acquisitions? Overconfidence is particularly relevant to Thermo Fisher's approach to R and strategic acquisitions. The company has a strong track record of innovation and growth which can lead to a belief in their ability to consistently develop successful products and make profitable acquisitions. This overconfidence can drive Thermo Fisher to invest heavily in R and pursue acquisitions that they believe will enhance their market position. While this has often paid off, it also carries the risk of overestimating the potential success of new technologies or the synergies from acquisitions. The endowment effect plays a role in how Thermo Fisher values its existing technologies and intellectual property. The company may place a higher value on its current assets leading to a focus on incremental improvements rather than more radical innovations. This can help maintain stability but might also limit the company's ability to rapidly adapt to disruptive changes in the industry. And this focus on leveraging their existing strengths and making strategic acquisitions has helped Thermo Fisher maintain a leadership position in the life sciences sector, appealing to both customers and investors who value innovation and growth. Exactly. Thermo Fisher's strategic use of overconfidence and the endowment effect appeals to investors looking for a company that can drive consistent innovation and growth through both internal development and strategic acquisitions. However, this approach also means that Thermo Fisher must carefully manage the risks associated with overconfidence, particularly when it comes to integrating new acquisitions or developing breakthrough technologies. Let's talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion at Thermo Fisher Scientific. The life sciences and healthcare industries are increasingly focused on DEI, especially given the global impact of their products and services. How does this intersect with behavioral finance? Thermo Fisher's approach to DEI is essential, especially as the company serves a diverse range of customers and stakeholders across the globe. From a behavioral finance perspective, strong DEI initiatives can enhance the company's ability to innovate and develop products that meet the needs of diverse populations. A commitment to DEI allows Thermo Fisher to tap into a broader talent pool, bringing in a variety of perspectives that can lead to more innovative solutions and better decision making. For investors, Thermo Fisher's focus on DEI can signal that the company is socially responsible and aligned with global societal values, which can enhance its reputation and appeal to ESG-focused investors. Additionally, DEI efforts can help Thermo Fisher build stronger relationships with customers, partners, and regulators, which is crucial for long-term success in the highly regulated healthcare and life sciences industries. Investors are increasingly considering DEI when evaluating companies, especially in industries like healthcare and life sciences, where the ability to understand and address the needs of diverse populations is critical to success. That's right. By embedding DEI into their corporate culture, Thermo Fisher not only enhances its ability to serve a broad range of customers but also strengthens its market position and attractiveness to socially conscious investors. Moving on to global markets, Thermo Fisher operates in over 50 countries, providing products and services across various segments like life sciences, diagnostics, and laboratory services. How does the company adapt to different markets, and what role does behavioral finance play in this? 
Derma Fisher's global strategy involves tailoring its products and services to meet the specific needs of different markets while maintaining its core focus on scientific excellence and innovation. From a behavioral finance perspective, this adaptability is crucial for managing the risks associated with operating in diverse regions. The company's ability to navigate complex regulatory environments, such as differing healthcare regulations and standards, allows it to maintain a strong global presence. Therma Fisher approach to understanding local market dynamics and adapting its strategies accordingly helps mitigate risks associated with cultural differences, regulatory challenges, and economic fluctuations. By staying attuned to local needs and adapting its product offerings, Therma Fisher can continue to expand its market share and strengthen its global brand. And this adaptability is essential for Therma Fisher, especially as they face competition from both local life sciences companies and other global giants. Their ability to maintain their brand's relevance and effectiveness in different markets is key to their continued success. Exactly. Therma Fisher's focus on understanding local market dynamics and adapting its strategies accordingly allows them to remain a dominant player in the life sciences and healthcare industries while staying ahead of emerging trends and challenges. However, this also requires them to be proactive in responding to changes in global health needs, technological advancements, and economic conditions. Now, let's compare Therma Fisher to other companies in the life sciences and healthcare industry like Danner, Agilent Technologies, and Illumina. How do the behavioral finance dynamics differ? Therma Fisher's dynamics are often compared to other life sciences and healthcare giants like Danner, Agilent Technologies, and Illumina, particularly in their approach to innovation acquisitions and market expansion. Therma Fisher's strong emphasis on strategic acquisitions and broad product offerings has positioned it as a leader in the industry, appealing to investors looking for growth through innovation and expansion. Denauer, with its focus on scientific and technological innovation across multiple segments, appeals to investors interested in a diversified approach to life sciences and diagnostics. Agilent Technologies known for its focus on laboratory instruments and solutions, appeals to a more specialized segment of the market. While Illumina, with its expertise in genomics and sequencing technologies, attracts investors looking for exposure to cutting-edge biotech innovations. Therma Fisher's behavioral finance dynamics are shaped by its reputation for strategic growth, innovation, and global adaptability making it an attractive option for those seeking a leader in the life sciences industry. And unlike Illumina, which has a more focused approach on genomics and sequencing, Therma Fisher's strength lies in its broad portfolio of life sciences products and services, appealing to a wider range of industries and customers. Absolutely. Each of these companies has its own behavioral finance dynamics that influence how investors perceive their value and potential risks. For Therma Fisher, the focus on innovation, strategic acquisitions, and a strong global presence provides a unique value proposition in the life sciences and healthcare industries. To sum up, Therma Fisher's approach to business is deeply influenced by behavioral finance principles whether it's through their R strategies, global market adaptations, or their approach to DDI. But like all companies, they are still subject to the biases and perceptions that can influence investor behavior. That's right. Understanding these dynamics provides a clearer picture of what drives Therma Fisher's stock price and where the potential risks and rewards lie. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Community Corner Podcast. Until next time, I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhail. Stay curious and keep questioning the narratives. Thank <laughs> you.